Hi and I welcome you to this lecture. In meetings, often we have to explain complex concepts to fellow attendees. For facilitating this, Webex is providing us with whiteboard and file sharing options. To start your whiteboard, all you have to do is just click on whiteboard sharing tab on top of your meeting window. And this tab will be active only if you are a presenter of the meeting. Once you click on this tab, a new whiteboard will be opened for you. And whatever you do in this whiteboard will be seen by all participants of the meeting. You can also rename your whiteboard appropriately. To do that, you have to right click on the whiteboard tab and click on rename. Then you have to enter the name of your whiteboard and hit enter. Now let's talk about different features in this whiteboard that can be used during discussions in meeting. Firstly, you can decide whether other participants can control this whiteboard along with you. By clicking this allow annotate icon, you can grant permission to other participants to edit the same whiteboard along with you. By clicking it again, the granted permission will be revoked. Here in this demo, account A is the presenter and account B is the participant. In account A, I have opened a whiteboard sharing. Initially by default, account B is not having permission to edit the whiteboard. Notice that the edit permissions are disabled here for account B. Now in account A, I am clicking allow annotate icon. Once I clicked, edit options are got enabled for account B. Now both account A and account B can edit the same whiteboard. In account A, if I click allow annotate icon again, the edit permission for other participants will get revoked and account B will lose edit permission for whiteboard. This feature will be extremely useful during meetings to collaborate with each other. Next icon is for picking a pointer while you explain things. Webex provides two types of pointers. One is arrow pointer. Wherever you click, the arrow pointer will be moved and you can draw attention of audience by clicking on important places. By clicking on the triangle, you will be able to select other type of pointer. In this case, I am selecting the laser pointer as next type. As the name says, you will see a laser point on your cursor location. Next icon is for entering a text in your whiteboard. First you have to choose the color of your text by clicking on annotation color icon and then click on text tool icon. Now just click on any location in your whiteboard where you want to type your text. A cursor will blink and you can type any text here. Next icon is line icon. You can draw lines in your whiteboard using this icon. By clicking on the triangle next to icon, you can choose the type of line you want to draw. Here you get options like double arrow headline or single arrow headline. You can just select the required type and draw the line in whiteboard. Next icon is for drawing shapes. By clicking on the triangle next to the icon, you will get a list of shapes you can draw. As you can see here, Webex supports square, circle, tick mark and cross mark. Just select the shape you want and draw it on your whiteboard. You can also select the color of your shape from annotation color icon. Just select the color and draw the required shape in your whiteboard. Next icon is pen tool and pencil tool. Both these are used for freehand drawing. As I told you earlier, you can choose the color of your drawing from this icon and then you can proceed to draw in your whiteboard. This is the eraser icon. Of course, it is used for erasing in your whiteboard. Just click on this icon and select the object you want to erase in your whiteboard. By doing this, you will erase whatever object you select. The last icon is save icon. By clicking on this icon, you can save the whiteboard in your computer and you can reuse it by opening in other Webex meetings. You can have more than one page in your whiteboard. To add a new page, just click on edit add page. Notice that a new blank page has been added to your whiteboard and we can proceed to draw in this new page. In case if you want to navigate to one of your old pages, just select the appropriate page number from this drop down menu. Alternatively, you can also click on page thumbnail view icon. This will introduce a new panel which has a thumbnail of all pages. Here you can navigate to any page by clicking on appropriate thumbnail. Finally, once you are done with your discussion, when you end the meeting, you will be asked if you want to upload all files shared in the meeting. If you end the meeting by selecting this checkbox, then all whiteboard images will be uploaded to the meeting space and it will be available for future reference for all meeting attendees.